Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm so glad to see everybody tuning in, so which means y'all are excited just as much as I am to have Bianca Bonnie on from Love and Hip Hop. Hi, true Gemini images. <laughs> All right, so of course, I am your host, Asia Diamond, for It's Only Entertainment. We are live on InstaView. We are going to have Bianca Bonnie from Love & Hip Hop New York. She's going to be tuned in with us. She's going to join us. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk about all the tea that's been going on, talk about all the dirt. It's going to be so much fun. And of course, we'll probably ask one or two fan questions, so make sure you have your questions ready. So we're just waiting for Bianca to join in. Hi, Cuddles. Let's see who else is joining us. Hey, S Mommy. I'm gonna give some shout outs while we wait for Miss Bianca Bonnie. Hello, Miss Palmer. Looks like I said Palmer with that New York accent. I liked it. Hey, gorgeous. Cause I can't click all these wave buttons, so I'm gonna need y'all to like give me like a high or like a thumbs up like Windy City did. Hey, dimps too deep. What that mean, dimps too deep? Oh, your dimples are too deep. Slow moment. Hey, Ricky Romance, that dude king. Everybody wanna be a king. You really a king? Or you just that dude that wanna be a king? Let's see, did I miss anybody? Hi, VH1 Info, I miss you, how are you? Aw, I'm happy to see you joined in. Let's see who else is. Hi, Nikki Long Bay, I missed you. Free band president. I missed you. That dude king, we said hi. Still trying to figure out if you really that dude or just that king. Let's see. I'm loving the hearts. Can I get a red heart? Because red is my favorite color. You do here, you gonna do my hair, S Mommy? Because honey, she need a good washing set. Okay, where you at, S Mommy? Wait, did you want to do my hair? You want to do Bianca's hair? I know that was real life selfish of me. It's not always about me, right? Hey, hey, Morpheus. Miss Black Ice Cream. Cloud Vision. Oh, so I did get it right. Dips to Deep 33. Really king? Okay, you that king. I don't know, True Gemini. She supposed to be here. Oh, she is here. So you have to, there she goes, guys. All right. We just want Bianca to go live. There she goes. All right, guys. Connect. And it's connecting. I know Instagram's slow. Hi, Bianca. I can't hear you. Oh, hopefully she'll come back. I think I lost her. I couldn't hear her. Were y'all able to hear her? All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Go live with Bianca. Oh, yes, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? But I heard you and then it went away. But I can hear her like when she joins, but I don't know what happens. Okay, I have to request her. How do I request her? Why Instagram gotta be difficult? All right, let's try this. Okay, I added her, let's see what happens. And I can't hear you either. This might work. It works? Yes. Do you hear me now? Facts. Somebody, yes. <laughs> somebody in the comments said that that you got to request. But I have to add you. Yeah. You know. Oh look, How they said she got to press the home button. They know everything. Like, Listen, who's the writer? At, who's the writer at? It's only entertainment. Who wrote that? You? Who wrote that? That was you. Who wrote what? No, it wasn't the me. The blog. The, the blog. The reason why we on this interview. Who blogged oh, no, that up? It wasn't me. Uh -oh. Whoever the fuck blogged that up, yo, I want to talk to them over there. At it's only. I see y'all got a lot me. of uh, following. All I heard was that you was you wanted to come on. You wanted to get some stuff up. I had chat. to come on because when I saw the the um the thing that was blogged, which I hate, yo, dead ass. Me and my ex, 
I haven't seen, like, really dealt with him or nothing since April 2017. It and it's really annoying because when we broke up, we was in a lot of blogs. And I was in a relationship with my ex for, like, eight months off and on, like, eight months to a year off and on. And everything was about my ex. Like, I was getting blamed about being around my ex and talking to my ex. And now I'm, like, happy it kind of got brought up because I'm, like, Yo, I haven't slept with my ex since April 2017, bro. And that's got to be out in the public to know. I'm never right. going to be tripping over something that's over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Like, I was talking to that boy for three months, so I don't know. But what's even that serious between y'all? Yeah, I mean, it was it was in the blog, so it made it that serious. You get what I'm saying? Like, we started dating January 27th, and we broke up April 3rd. Mind you, I was living in New York, so it was that little bit of time, like me coming back and forth to Miami, that we was even dealing with each other. But the blogs make shit. Look at K Goddess. Shout out to K Goddess. She done whooped her right ass. And I want the yes. blogs. I want the blogs to. I want, I want everybody saying, "Oh, Mariah beat her up." Like at the end of the day, y'all didn't see the full video, so for you to say that she beat her up is retarded because her sister jumped in the fight. So it's no way you could say somebody got beat up when they was on the ground. But anyway, that's so exactly what happened with the fight. Because I just um, see a little clip. I don't know exactly. I need to. What happened? Oh well, more of the story is Mariah was talking crazy, saying as usual. Because every time it's a blog, like if a blog pop up no, and somebody don't. at me, if a blog mm -hmm. pops up and somebody at me, I'll write them back. Like if I see it, if I catch it, I'm gonna write it back. Or if it's a good comment or a bad comment, I mean that's what Instagram is for. Right. So um, everybody was commenting when Mariah Lynn dissed Nicki Minaj, and was saying like, you know, um, is that get your friend, get your friend, get your friend? And I'm like, bro, that's not my friend. So a lot of people didn't know because they watch Love and Hip Hop and they can't, you know, separate now from what happened on TV when we film a year. Right. We we got cool because we had a mutual enemy. Which, which is not real friends anyway. Because if you would have liked that person, you would have never been my friend. Right. You know. So it was, it was all for that. And you know, Cardi kept bringing us around each other on the show. And so you know, we got cordial. But I had my cousin was in the car with one of our mutual friends, Ricky, and she was on the phone saying, "Oh, she don't really um, deal with me like that in real life." And you know, we just TV friends. So I kept her around, you know, to keep my check going. Cause I already knew what it was between us, but she didn't know that I knew she was talking crazy, but we had it recorded, you know, like mm -hmm. this is how you talking crazy, but we, you know, keep your enemies closer. So it's nothing that I don't expect what she's doing right now, but I just had to tell her like, that's the wrong person you doing it with. Like I was in a full blown relationship with the person that I was just dealing with that I got like tattooed on me. So if you was going to try something, you probably should have tried it with him. Or somebody that I care about, not a person that I was well, dealing with for three months. Was, he was meaning relevant. Yeah, like that. Like they, he never met my parents, never came to my house. Like a person that I don't care about. Like you know, mm -hmm. it just the blogs and the media make things look like it's something that it's really not. Right, and that's so the thing at the end of the to day, get to, to get people to get to keep people entertained to get you to respond to get that absolutely. I mean, but you know, you know, people always think. I'm going to respond, but I, I'm always quiet for a while, and then I respond, and when I respond, everybody's like, oh, you the bad guy, you you the troublemaker, you always starting, and it's like, now it's time to not be quiet, because if you come in on a blog saying you can out-rap Nicki Minaj, and you didn't even win a Gwen and Fest on Love and Hip Hop, like, something ain't adding up. No comment. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Something Love ain't Nikki, adding up. The no, all, so. yeah, see, at the end of the day, I, I don't get in the middle of nothing with no other rap artists because everybody is getting their money and doing their thing. So I'm not getting in the middle of nothing nobody got going on. I'm my own person, my own artist. But if somebody come for me, that's when I have a problem and I'm going to speak on something and say something. And as you should. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just sitting there saying, Mariah Lynn is trash. Like, don't come for Nikki. And I'm not even taking Nikki's side or nothing. I'm just saying... That she got awards and she's a fucking known artist and you ain't nobody. Right. So what are you doing? And then you say that whack ass freestyle. I don't know. I'm saying everything I failed these days. So that shit was trash. I got bars. Every freestyle that you ever see me spit got a million, a million views, half a million views. 
Mm-hmm. Like, and this week, I'm going, I'm, when I get back to New York, I'm going to do the sit down with Emma Easy. I got two new freestyles. I freestyled today earlier on live because this, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, so let's get ready to ask you. Let's talk about your new music. Let's talk about your album 10 Plus that you have out right now. Let's talk about Facts. That. Like, the ninth year in 10 Plus, the ninth year is a project I did a long time ago. I think it got took off mm-hmm. down offline, but a free mixtape website. Right? So if you Google the ninth year, Bianca Bonnie, it'll pop up. That tape and 10 plus that album that came out on the um sony and power music both of those projects is better than all of mariah music mm-hmm. that's one two yeah if anybody like oh i don't know bianca music just go download 10 plus and judge the music for iTunes. yourself yeah it's so on itunes spotify it's so on all of that like mm-hmm. i'm like i'm a humble person so i don't really talk crazy about people but when people sit in here talking crazy or doing spiteful and connival conniving stuff like i got real friends like i got friends that been my friends since kindergarten i was in family academy i went to family academy from k through eight i got the same friends from that school i got the same friends from 10 11 years gabby sabrina like my same friends real friends that y'all never saw on love and hip-hop right so i don't care about no mariah lynn you feel me like being friends on a tv show and then i try to bring it outside the show and and she moved exactly how she like I expected her to move. You feel me? Because right. at the end of the day, the the person that she wrote in the blog, her man, Keanu, that's her ex boyfriend. That's my friend. He was my friend before I knew her. You feel me? So she's right. in the blog trying to make it seem like I was doing something funny with him or doing something to her when I was the one telling him like you know don't don't leave her. And she was being sneaky and doing fu- like mad foul shit to him. So mm-hmm. I just be minding my business. And that's the I dress when I'm it. spoken I mean, to. Right. I mean, as long as you stay focused, you're going to keep doing what you do. Obviously, everybody loves you. That's all I keep seeing is everybody Listen, the love you. overpowers the hate by tools. At the end of the day, everybody's going to have haters. I don't care who you are. You could be a right here. You're still going to have people saying stuff about you. You could be a millionaire. You could be Beyonce. No matter who you are, somebody's going to dislike you. You can't please everybody. You wasn't put on this earth to please everybody. You're right. supposed to be, you got to be happy within and really happy yourself. And that's how I am. Like, I brought my own condo. I'm out here making big moves in Miami. And I don't care about what nobody say about me because I know what I'm doing. I have accolades. I've won awards. I've, I've been on a billboard chart. So it's nothing to do that again. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've been through so much in the industry. I've been in the industry since I was 15. So right. me grinding and still doing it. I'm like a whole new artist now. I'm just in my 20s. I'm mm-hmm. grown now, so They're once I up. do it again, yeah, once I do it again, you can't tell me nothing. People got to do it the first time to be able to talk. Mm-hmm. What about you? What that say? What about what? you who hated on you? Oh, okay. Let go yeah, yeah. What hate about hate. you who, what about you who hate? I don't know. That's the I don't know. I think you're a little late. Um, I think you're a little late, sir. So you are living in Miami because I know you are living in Miami. Yeah, people always, people always ask me, and I, I never really say, like, you know, I live here, but I, I live here. <laughs> mm-hmm. I moved. I've been back and forth for the past, since I was 17, I've been back and forth a lot, and I've spent a lot of money on hotels and mm-hmm. Airbnb and, you know, renting houses and stuff like that. So I just, am I back? Am I back? No, you're here. I see. I'm you black. I'm dark. I can't see myself. Yeah, I can't see myself Whatever. either, but I can see you. Can you see me? I can see you, but I can't see me. Yeah, and I can see you. Somebody <laughs> just called me. Oh, they said... Pre- we back? Okay. We back? I think they so. They press the middle button. They said press the middle button. I can see you. You can't see me? What middle button? There's too many buttons on here. Press your middle button on your iPhone. You on a computer? Oh, but now... I can Wait, see I think you. Coming back. I can see you. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for the people who saying who, the people who saying who am I, they never heard of me. Well, I made a hit record, an international hit record when I was fifteen, called right. Chicken Noodle Soup. Let it rain, clear it out with a soda on the side. It went international. It hit billboards. I think we was like one of the top ten. Uh, dance still, songs in the They still play it in the clubs. They, they still, still play, play, it play it because I still get a residual check. I still get a check from it. Like, I get a big enough check that I don't have to do anything for the rest of my life. Right. Like, I can live off of it. Because it's still being played and streamed and every time I do anything new, people go right back to that record and play it. 
I think it got 10 million views on YouTube. Oh, Vim Vivo, and I don't even know that's new views because it didn't have. Oh yeah, 10 that million. song is always going to be popping though. It's, like, it's a legendary it's like song. A it's like a macarena, you know. And people, uh, you know, these new girls that come in, they like, oh, you chicken noodle soup. That's all you are. But to knock somebody who did something, period. That's when you know it's just pure hate because you right. never did nothing. Period. You you can't go to Japan and people know you. I could right. go anywhere in the world. I could go to Morocco. Africa and people play chicken noodle soup. I'm internationally known, right? And it's like, so I do another record. That means I got two. You got to get one. You got to chart on the billboards. You got to yeah, win an award. Done. I've won a best dance cut or Soul Train award. Like I've been nominated for other awards. Like I have plaques. Like these are things right. that you have to you have to get, and then you could be able to talk crazy. Like you yeah. can't do that. I all right, so now we're going to have some fun, right? Okay. you already know you're popping with the music. You already know you're doing your thing. You already know. So we're going to do some smash and pass before I was Oh, up. God, smash and pass. <laughs> so smash or pass. You ready? Right. Chris Brown, smash or pass? Oh, man, that's the bro. Got to pass on that one. Why? That's the bro. Like, if he wasn't the bro, I probably Okay, so if he wasn't the bro, you would smash. Facts. Like, facts. Like, around the chicken noodle soup days, that's, like, my bro. You know, like, okay. I was on tour with him, all of that. So, I don't look at him like that. But he's he's smashable, but just not for me. Like, just not for you because he's your bro. Facts. He's okay. the bro. Michael B. Jordan, smash or pass? Smashing that. I'm smashing that. I feel like I remember, it just happened overnight. I remember overnight, going to the like movies. Just more good looking overnight. I remember going to the movies with my ex, and we went to go see, um, what was the last movie? What was that movie? Um, Black Panther. And I said, oh, I said, if I wasn't with you, Michael B. Jordan, oh, and he was <laughs> like, you made me hate this movie, bro. Like, I, And then when I did another interview, they asked me, like, Ma Mary Kill, smash or whatever and i was like i can't even say michael b jordan because i'm gonna get dumped <laughs> but now that i'm single michael so he b is a jordan smash. no yeah he cuffing right. though so but Ushers. he's very cute now you can't Pass. think Usher, wow, you old. can't think about the situation he got now nah, i'm not thinking about right. the herpes usher old i don't like old <laughs> niggas i love usher fan like <laughs> I love it. So you would pass on. He a, he a growing. He an old ass man. Like I don't like I don't like old men. I got because okay, well, you are in your twenties. So that, yeah. that's understandable. Because he's got to be like. I like younger late. boys than me. So <laughs> 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 I'm brought up in the cradle. You heard? Okay, last one. Jacquees, uh -huh. smash or pass? Jacquees. Jacquees. Yeah, I, yeah. He's not really my type, so I'm a pass on him. You pass on that one. Yeah, he got good music, right, but so he's not my type. Okay. So you have new music coming out. You're in the studio now. Let Definitely. everyone know where they can keep up with you and all your, and your new music. Um, on my Instagram, all my social media is Bianca is King. I want everybody to start subscribing to my YouTube because I'm doing like a, my own web series more about me, you know, because people only see me on Love and Hip Hop turning up. That's the only thing they ever see. So I'm going to show like, you know, my real friends, my family, things I'm going through on a day to day basis, what my life consists of. So I'm going to start putting out, you know, like little series because I'm already on this series called Respect Life on YouTube okay. and it's a big deal. So everybody watches that, and it's like I get stopped in the airport from it. Like, oh, you shorty from Respect Life, and I'm nice. like, yeah, I really watch this YouTube right. like that. Because YouTube is popping though. YouTube so is yeah, not like so. It used to be. So is it? Are you gonna be on Love and Hip Hop this season, or be putting Love and Hip Hop on hold? You there? I think you froze again. Instagram. Wait, hold on. We'll get her back, guys. We're going to do some fan questions. We got to find her. I think she lost connection because we want to do a fan question before we go. Because I told you we're going to do fan questions. But we got to get her back. I know I have to add her this time. I think I got the hand hang of it. I'm gonna figure this out, guys. Like, this stuff is confusing. Instagram wants you to do stuff, and it wants to be difficult. 
And I'm a gadget girl, and this is just not for this. I think she lost service, though. Do y'all think she lost service? Y'all always want to be put on. Put yourself on. Come on. Get to work, boss daddy 205. This is all love, though. I'm not a shady person, guys. I promise. All right, I'm looking for her so I can get her back on. Yes, email. It's only entertainment11 at gmail.com. Send your press kit, send your bio, we'll see what we can do. S mommy, you DM'd me. Well, you DM'd is only entertainment. I'm pretty sure they will get the DM. I'm trying to get her back, guys. I think she lost service. Let's see. All right, guys, I'm going to give it like another two minutes. I'm trying to do fan questions. That's what I'm trying to figure out, Dani234. Dani Y'all think her phone's out? We'll give it like another minute or so. Yeah, I just got a text that they think her phone might have died. All right, so unfortunately, we couldn't get to the fan questions. I apologize, but I do want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. Thank you, True Gemini Images. <laughs> so yeah, her phone must have died. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Insta Live for It's Only Entertainment. And it's your girl, Asia Diamond. Follow me on Instagram, Asia Diamond. Mwah.